Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, I'm looking at the price of theta, but not the traditional sense, theta USD. I'm looking at theta versus Bitcoin. And I really like what I'm seeing here. And just right off the bat, you know, you look at it and think, that doesn't look good. That looks nasty. Well, everything starts nasty before it gets really, really beautiful, right? So um, right off the bat, let's start from the beginning here. So the beginning, we had this beautiful base, right? I always like my base or your box or whatever you want to call it. Um, and, you know, the saying is the bigger the base, the higher in space, right? So you have this base and this base was a Wyckoff accumulation pattern. So you had that first test, your um, your second, right? You came back up to resistance and then you developed the spring phase and you sort of creaked about and then boom, we shot up. And in that time we shot up, we had five waves, right? So we have one, two, all of that's three, four, five. So there's our five waves. So after five waves, you typically need a correction. And this correction has been bleeding since June of 2021. So today is, um, so that would, that's like, uh, let's see, about 875 days thereabout. So that's, that's quite a bit of time, right? But you notice, I want you to notice one thing. Notice how the price is impulsing to the upside. It's impulsing, right? Impulse, pull back, impulse, pull back, impulse, right? That's the important part. So this whole thing was impulsing. That's probably the most important part. Also, then that tells you that that tells you the trend. It's trending and impulsing to the upside. Now here's the other big part. Notice the notice the uh, the move down the bear market, right? This is all corrective. Look how choppy it is. So look at this impulse, impulse, impulse. But look at this. It's it's sort of not impulsing to the downside. It's corrective. You see, you have these waves up, these waves down, wave up, wave down, wave up. It's choppy, right? It's super choppy and it's all corrective it's it's basically one giant corrective behavior and it's a beautiful second wave if you ask me so you have one and you have this perfect move down two which is setting us up for a big move to the upside in my opinion not financial advice i could be totally wrong right but typically when you have this sort of this sort of choppiness like this right you're chopping down Typically, it doesn't just go boom to the downside. Typically, it starts to round out and then start continuing higher. So I think that's what we're, we're, we're witnessing right now. Um, so you can even take a little trend line here. I mean, and you can also look at it like a giant uh, bull flag, right? So actually, let me, let, me put the, let me put a channel up, parallel channel. And we're going to go all the way down here and we're going to take it out here and it's and it's really nice and orderly right oops one second so it's kind of subjective where you could put it but if i put it here you have more touch points right so for example you have a lot of touch points here 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 right here and right here right so you can keep it there or I always like to be more conservative. Let's be a little bit uh, more conservative and say it's right there. That means we haven't quite um, broken uh, out completely yet, right? So we have this, um, this beautiful move, this beautiful base, right? We have this beautiful base and we have this extraordinary pump to the upside, right? This is our foundation. This is our concrete foundation. This is our impulse or our flagpole. 
the flagpole is implanted into the concrete foundation and now this whole time has been a what a bull flag so we are basically witnessing a beautiful bull flag being formed so you know when is it going to break out you know when is it going to go it's, it's very hard to say i mean we can we can still um continue heading down ever so slightly but eventually i think this is going to be the 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 scenario which is bullish so typically what happens is you have xrp getting back into the retracement levels of its previous um swing high of 69k so if we get up to a 45 50k that's when you can see bitcoin dominance you know really start to slow down against the altcoins or it could have already happened now right it could have already happened now but typically altcoins don't really really perform i mean yeah we see these five ten percent moves but that's nothing compared to last bull run where he had these 20 30 50 percent days every day consecutively that's when you start to see these major swings and that typically happens when bitcoin either number one breaks into a new all-time high or number two gets back into the retracement levels and both of those scenarios haven't completely happened yet although the market is extremely bullish so um your guess is as good as mine as when this thing's going to take off but if you sort of count the waves it's, it's pretty difficult to count the waves um i would say one two i would say all of that's three four and then we have an extended fifth so it looks it looks pretty done i mean it to me it looks pretty done um i could be totally wrong we can have another hit to the low but if you notice, we're starting to, let's actually zoom in a little bit. Let's see if that helps us out. Go to the daily chart. Okay. You can start to see this potentially could be a Wyckoff event right here. So taking this as our, our our base right here and basically um basically you know we have this this move to the upside um didn't quite make it back to the resistance but equally holding the support we fell through the floor i'm thinking this could potentially be just an extended spring right and um, we break below the uh, accumulation box and like i said you know usually springs break below for example so basically this is an example here where you have this first test secondary test right and then um let me change the arrow so you can see the color so you could see here um, the spring phase, which basically breaks below this two secondary test. So you can say that this potentially, it doesn't mean it has to be, secondary test, secondary test, the spring comes down, it breaks below, it grabs the liquidity, and now it's impulse into the upside. So we have the spring, we have the break below support, we have the two secondary test, we have that first move to the upside, right, which is our resistance line. And then we have this impulse that we're, we're currently doing now. So let's see if, if this continues to, uh, to, to play out here. Um, what we can see, if this were true, um, we can start to see, you know, price maybe pulling back a little bit, getting above this area here, and then continuing marching our way out just like... Um, just like right here you can see the price steadily increasing higher consolidating back testing the top of the two support lines and then continuing to to march up higher so if that's not the case right if that's not the case then maybe 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 we're not finished yet right maybe we have um some more to go remember this is theta versus bitcoin so just because it goes up does it uh or i'm sorry 
just because it goes down or sideways doesn't mean theta can't continue to grind up. So for example, we're at 80 cents, 81 cents. Um, we can go sideways and theta can hit 85 cents or 90 cents or even a dollar. Basically, what it means is, is Bitcoin outperforming theta? That's what we're trying to figure out. Is, is Bitcoin going to outperform theta or is theta going to outperform Bitcoin? So if neither is outperforming each other, we get flat right if if basically theta is outperforming bitcoin we can see an impulse to the upside and that's what we want right we want theta to outperform bitcoin and i believe that will happen um sooner or later i mean you can just see like i go back to this um previous example i mean look how nice and orderly like you have this big impulse to the upside and you have this corrective behavior and you're also in a descending channel and descending channel 90 percent of the time they're eventually going to break out right so is it going to come down a little further than break out what what does it matter right we're all hodlers we're all holding or at least i am i know many of you like to hold right if you're trading then it's a different situation but right now for me hodling is the best thing to do um, especially since look how far we've been falling and also you correct through time and you correct through price so price can either correct through time and price or both and theta versus bitcoin has been beautifully doing that um, so let's see what happens uh, we got a nice engulfing candle uh, previous week and then we have that second green candle trading above the engulfer so let's see if uh, we get some follow-through but like I said this chart doesn't have to you know explode to the upside in order for theta to do well it could can it could just go flat and still do well so um, what I would look for is basically this trend line right here if we could break above that which is let me just put a little box here probably right around there if we could break if we could break above that then I think we would be in good shape so what is that equivalent to on theta well it, it, it really depends um, let's take a look so looking at the price of theta it does look a lot better this is theta versus the US dollar this is the chart we all know um, so going back to that Bitcoin uh, theta versus Bitcoin, I would say a dollar twenty six, a dollar twenty to a dollar thirty. Let's just be conservative. A dollar twenty to a dollar thirty. So we're at eighty one cents now. If we can break above that one dollar and twenty cent area, or even even just give me a dollar, I think we'd be in a good position on that theta versus BTC chart to continue uh, marching to the upside because this is sort of the same looking chart where you have this nice foundation, you have this unbelievable bull run, which is your flagpole that's planted into this foundation, and then you have your bull flag, right? And typically, you know, price corrects to the downside. Everybody's depressed and sad. Oh, it's never going to go up higher. But anytime you have a descending, it breaks to the upside, right? And then you have uniformity, right? You have boom, 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 boom. You have an up wave down, up, down, right? You have these, these impulses, these correction, impulse correction. And that's just the nature of the chart. So speaking of that, why would theta just continue to go down, 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 down? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You have up moves and counter moves, up moves and counter moves. So we are in a counter move as we speak. We're just waiting for that ultimate breakout which i believe is coming soon so let's actually let me go back to the theta versus btc chart i want to pull some fibonacci's and see what we see so if i pull a fib retracement contention that this is the bottom i mean we're we're in no man's land i mean we still have i mean this is where we are at the moment is is extremely low risk depending if this is the bottom or not don't know for sure you can't say but it's starting to look like it's it's bottoming out. 
um, especially because if you look here, this is our previous base of support, right, right in here. So the price is actually back testing this base, which is a good sign, right? So if I take everything off the screen and I say, this is our base right here, right? Price breaks out of the base and then it comes down to back test the base, right? It could be the top of the base or maybe in the middle of the base but it's back testing the top, which typically means we're going to continue rising. So, you know, not financial advice, of course, but anything's possible. So let's look at a trend based fib. If I take it from here to here and then all the way back down, same type of story, right? Um, I would like it to, I would like to see that 1618 extension at least get hit right which would take us to from where we are now that's an 1800 percent move that's unbelievable that's against bitcoin too by the way right which would probably be a lot more in us dollars it'd be at least maybe another 300 percent right so um yeah everything looking good for theta i wouldn't worry at all uh, if we do make another low on the theta versus BTC chart, it's not the end of the world. Remember, this is a correction. This is a correction. We're just waiting for it to end, right? So if it ends down here or it ends now, it really doesn't matter. I mean, we're all hodlers. At least I am. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you guys bearish? Are you guys bullish? Do you want um to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to continue updating the progress of theta and guys we're really at a, a pivotal point right here this is a to me a relatively low risk opportunity i mean of course everything has enormous risk when you're dealing with crypto but since we fell so much and time went by so i mean it's been years right we're starting to starting to bottom out this is this is the time to start dollar cost averaging right maybe not this very second but um you know dollar cost averaging is is the best way to beat the market makers if you're trying to time the market like oh i'm gonna sell it now and buy back later a lot of times people get burned i mean if you start if you try that at the top of the area right maybe you might uh succeed but a lot of times um, like let's say for example people sell right here price comes up they get nervous they buy back in and then the price dumps so it's really it's really hard to, to time the market unless you're day trading and using proper risk management and things like that then you're fine but um, other than that um, I would just say simply just hodl right that's the easiest way to uh, to, to beat the market so Thank you guys if you made it this far in the video. I appreciate you. Maybe uh, leave a comment, leave a like, and uh, until next time, have a great week.